Hey, so I'm here with Marcus from Men's Hockey here at BCU. How has the season been for you guys? Uh, yeah, I mean, we've been on the, the losing end of some, some close results, which has been disappointing, but we've won the games that we have to, to win to consolidate the promotion that we had last season. So overall, I'd say we can be pretty pleased with it. Um, yeah. Brilliant. It's what, it's what we like to hear. Bucks is good for game development. Going into varsity, it's going to be the last game for a lot of people. What does varsity mean to you and the other players in the squad? Uh, yeah, it means a lot. Uh, we always want to try and do our best to beat Aston. Uh, the last three years we haven't lost uh, and, you know, I can remember my first year. It was a very close game. Last year, not so much. So hopefully, hopefully it can be a good fight that we come out on top of this season. Um, we had a good start and then we hit a rough patch and we went on a little losing streak. But um, we're still... High hopes as a team, and we still work together as a team. So we're still we're still working well together and getting in practice, and we're still ready for Aston. Yeah, I mean it's good good idea to keep your heads up, get the motivation up going in. Um, obviously, going into varsity, it's going to be the last game for a lot of the girls on the team. Yeah. How are you guys going to use that as motivation? Um, I think there's four or five of us. This will be our last game, and we've played varsity twice. This will be our third year because of COVID, but we've beat them before. We'll beat them again. Like it's just going to be ending it on a high and ending our BC career with a win against Aston and Varsity. It's all you can want. It. We are still will have a chance to win Varsity because yeah, Aston is a new team and we got earlier base, so we, we kind of have good experience in football compared to Aston. But we don't know how Aston is going to play us or anything. But I hope we get a win. Yeah, I mean we do like a good good local derby here, I know BCU versus Aston, I live for some people go to Aston so it's a bit bit intense and um, obviously for some players it's going to be their last game if they are leaving uni this year or going on placement or something. How are you guys using that as motivation and preparation for varsity games? It's yeah, really, really good with that because there are three, uh, three players who are actually leaving us next year and there are some players who are not decided because they, have th they are going in third year so they are not decided that are they going to continue playing or not but we think uh, like compared to, la compared to last year we had more uh, participation this year so uh, we think we will get some more participation next, uh, for next season compared to this year. Um, we've had a pretty eventful season we've had a lot of new people coming into our team and we had a lot of people leave last year so a lot of freshers people who are new to hockey so our score lines haven't been you know, maybe exactly what we would have wanted, but we had a lot of fun and lo learned a lot with all of our new players. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Buck Sport is big on development. It's a lot of what the league is about. Going to Varsity, what would you say Varsity means to you and the other girls on the team? Um, I mean, I think because it's a local derby, obviously everyone's, I'd say, more competitive than they are in the league. Um, you always want to win against Aston, obviously. Um, and I just think we want to go into it, have a good time and just do our, do our very best. So, yeah. I mean, and again, for a lot of the players who are leaving, it's going to be the last last game for the union for the team. How are you guys going to use that as motivation going into varsity? Um, yeah, I mean, we've yeah got a few people, especially because of COVID, who haven't necessarily had all of their varsities like in their first or second years. Um, and I think people, you know, it's just going to be really good fun. It's a nice like last time everyone gets together, last match for everyone. Um, and yeah, I think it's just it's just a really good time for everyone, Aston people included. And yes, always. Hi there, my name is David Tremboth, uh, BCU captain for first team rugby. This year, it's been a really exciting season. This season, um, last season we lost a few few key players, but we come back stronger than ever. Um, pretty much an unbeaten season until our final against Worcester which would have led us to a promotion. Unfortunately, we just missed out. Um, but yeah, it's been really great. Looking forward to the next season as well. It's going to be up and coming. Hi, it's uh, Charlie Shakespeare, um, vice captain of the Aston Cobras. Uh, it's been a tough season, I think it's fair to say, with um, quite a lot of uh, influential boys last year, uh, obviously leaving as their final years. Um, it's been a bit of a rebuilding with quite a lot of tough losses and. Uh, well, uh, an inexperienced team, to, uh, I think, to say the least. I mean, going into Varsity, I mean, you guys are in the same league anyway, so obviously you've played each other a couple of times this year already. 
obviously, like you said, you've had a few key players leaving. How are you guys going to use that as motivation going into varsity? Well, with varsity, yeah, we've come, as we've progressed through the season, I mean, we've just become so much more confident with each other, um, and we're re I mean, we're ready for it. We've had a very successful season, so we're coming coming strong at full force. I mean, I think after um, winning, winning Varsity last year, I think that, that almost set, sets the standard. And I think the motivation is to have that same feeling again last year um, or this year that we did last year. Yeah, so I'm Evie and our season's been really good this season. We're getting promoted. Um, we've had probably one of the best seasons BC Netball's ever seen. Uh, only losing two games, going on a run of eight undefeated before the last two games. So, yeah, we're really looking forward to varsity. It's going to be a really good game for us. Hi, I'm Tilly. Um, I wish I could say the same. <laughs> Our track record's not been great. We've kept up the hard work, though, and we're hoping to just have a good game at varsity. Yeah, I mean, that, that's what we like to hear. Um, obviously, it is going to be like the last game for a lot of players mm -hmm. who are leaving. How are you guys going to use that as motivation going into varsity? Well, definitely we've got Adele, our president, leaving this year from the first team. So we're going to put on a good show for her. Good last game and just go out with a good win, basically. Yeah, it's been so nice to have final years play on our team this year. Um, it's not quite nice when they come back from placement and you get to play with new people. It's going to be nice to hopefully just give them a nice varsity, especially coming out of COVID where they've not had a proper one. Uh, so it should be really good. For us, it's been like a bit of a shake-up. We had we lost a couple of crucial players, but we've still like made our best out of it. Um, we finished about mid-table, but for us, that's really good, and we're really taking it as a positive. Like BCU, we've also had a couple of mix-ups with people going and coming back, especially with our um, fourth years that have gone. But um, it's been a really good year for us. Brilliant. Um, and going into varsity, we all like a good local derby rivalry. Um, what does varsity mean to you guys and the other girls on the team? Um, for us, I feel like it's just like a sense of community, like bringing together two, like obviously derby teams, um, just fighting out over Birmingham. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't say, couldn't say anything more. It's really good. Again, we played against BCU before. I know our first teams have, and it's a very competitive <laughs> game, but it is a very, very, very good one. Uh, hi, my name is Ronak and um, the season's been great so far. The indoor season went really well for us. We went to the nationals for indoor uh, and we uh, got a podium finish in bronze. So you're really happy with the performance so far. Uh, my name's Tom. Uh, I'm the BC cricket captain. Indoors could have gone better. We didn't finish where we wanted to. We didn't take as strong a squad as we could have. So certainly we're looking forward to actually taking a strong squad against Varsity and don't make up for it. I mean, yeah, that's, that's what we like to see is like development throughout the season. Um, Obviously, varsity is going to be a bit different this year. How are you guys like preparing for it? Um, I think it plays into our hands really because we've we've had uh, such a great experience indoors, and uh, the fact that it's indoors again really plays into our hands. Um, we've got a really strong squad, not many changes really. So yeah, really looking forward to it. And BC always sort of a good fight in varsity, so really looking forward to it now. Yeah, so for us it's not really ideal. We haven't played much indoor cricket at all, so we're going in quite raw and quite fresh without much training, so it's very much going to be in the next couple of weeks, a couple of indoor games here and then, see how we go. Yeah, it was, uh, there was a lot of bumps along the road, um, but overall we came second in a very tough league um, with the likes of Loughborough and Nottingham in there as well, so we've had some really good performances, um, some performances that were better, but I think over the, overall over the season we played very well. Brilliant. Um, how would you say you're going to use all like the rest of the season going into varsity as motivation? Yeah, definitely. We gathered momentum towards the end of the season. We picked up two wins in three games, I think. Um, all the older lads in the team know uh, what varsity means. We're in training at the minute for three weeks, so uh, we're preparing well. We're all, we're all excited to perform. So the season has gone well. It could have gone better, but we're ready to prove ourselves on varsity stage. Brilliant, yeah. I know Varsity is like a big opportunity for people to like really like show what they're about, big local rivalries which we all enjoy. What would you say Varsity means to you and the other players? So Varsity is a chance to like seal off our season and uh, end out on a bang, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So any like good chance for like, uh, like third year players, it's a good chance for them to like go out with a bang. How is the other players going to use that as motivation? 
So we, uh, as I'm a final year as well, so we've like trained up the young ones, and we're gonna hopefully help them get a win this season as well. Yeah, the season's gone really well. It's been a lot of fun, and I'm really proud of the whole team. Brilliant. So, obviously, varsity is coming up. Big local rivalries. What would you say varsity means to you and the rest of your players? So I think varsity for us is just a really, it's a really great challenge to finish the year on, and it's something we're all really excited for. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, BCU versus Aston. I live just across from Aston. Some of my flatmates live at Aston, uh, go to Aston. So we know it's obviously quite tense, good bit of fun. Um, obviously, for some of your players, it is going to be their last match if they're finishing uni this year. How are you guys going to use that as motivation going forward into varsity? Yeah, so we really just want to end on a bang. So everyone's working really hard towards it, and we're just going to try our best. Uh, it's been a bit of a roller coaster, you know. Um, starting the season, the game was the games we played very early on were very intense, but I really think we built a lot of chemistry towards the end, and we were like smooth sailing towards the end. So it was a great season, all of, like all things that come to fall. Good, good. That's I mean that's what we like to see developing throughout the season. Um, obviously, Varsity coming up against uh, BCU. What does Varsity mean to you? I mean, Varsity is the longest beef for Aston and BCE, you know, so it's always that game, the last game of the year, where one of the universities wants to assert dominance and just show that they're great at what they do, so I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, obviously for some of the players, like in third year who are leaving, it is going to be the last game for the uni of the team. How are you guys going to use that as motivation going forward into Varsity? Uh, I really think at the, begin at the beginning of the year, a lot of players are already speaking about how they want to make varsity count since it's their last year. So they've been planning, you know, like like malicious, malicious intent and everything, you know, so they're ready to really tackle this match. So I think they are going to be motivated to just show that they still have their strength in them, even though it's their last year, you know, so. Uh, hi, my name is Ronak and I'm captain for Aston's uh, men's first team. Um, season so far has been a bit of a mixed bag. Um, I thought we had some really good teams in our league this year, so I uh, really haven't been uh, the best. But we've got some really important wins against Derby, ones and twos, uh, and a couple of points here and there against Warwick as well. So uh, been a bit of a bit of mixed bag, uh, a mi uh, middle table finish in the league. So yep, I want to make things right at BCU. Yeah, I mean it's a good time for like player development and game development and everything. How are you using varsity as motivation, especially when you might have like uh, final year students who are going to be leaving? Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, it's a point to prove for them. Um, we want to give them a bit of a farewell with varsity as well. So we, uh, we want to get them in that direction as well. Um, and we've tried to give most people chances because we knew that it was their final year. So um, yeah, we're trying to give them as many chances as possible. And varsity will be probably the last game of the season. So uh, yeah, lots to look forward to. And a nice point after as well, doesn't hurt. Um, it's Harrison Fuller and um, men's captain. The season went quite well. Uh, we did unfortunately lose every game, but we had a lot of new players and they have progressed a lot with their skill over the year. Um, over the year. Yeah, I'm Mia, I'm the women's captain and similar to the lads, we've not really performed the greatest, but we've got a lot of new players that have taken to the sport. So that's something we're quite proud of as a club. Yeah, and again, that's, that's an important thing, especially with Berks, is about player development going forward to like the next two or three, maybe, four years that they're going to be at the uni um, going into varsity if you've got like third year players who are leaving it is going to be their last game how are you guys going to use that as motivation going into varsity well it's mainly as it's their final year they're going to be putting their all into it playing their best and if everybody puts in 100 percent effort you can never be uh, not proud of them <laughs> yeah same here i think everyone's just really wanting to make it a last good game for them and uh, put their all in so hopefully we'll come out with a good result I mean, Good luck for Varsity and thank you so much for joining me. No thank worries, you. thank you.